Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another Photoscape X video and today we're covering YouTube banners. Here's how we make a beautiful YouTube banner in Photoscape X. So what you want to do to make a banner that looks like this or to be able to be customized to however you'd like it to be, first thing you'll want to do is get your project size where you are working on the canvas that is the correct size because if you're working on one that's too big or too small, it's going to either be blurry or not going to be able to be uploaded to YouTube. So if you're looking and saying, okay, so what is a YouTube banner? This is what a YouTube banner would look like on your YouTube channel. We uh, go to the YouTube channel page itself and you have this nice artwork and you're able to upload whatever artwork you want, but it has to be the correct size. And you have to understand on different devices, you're going to see different portions of your screen so like on my phone versus on my computer versus on my tv it's all going to look a little bit different because it's going to show more and less what's awesome is that youtube and people online they've made a nice little template on here you can look up youtube banner on uh, google and you're able to find images that show the kind of dimensions of what each device is going to see uh, in general so check this out i've downloaded that image that kind of template image that's what I would encourage you guys to do download that template image and then I'd want you to just drop it right into your editor so take it drop it right into the editor on here we can see that we have the size it's 2560 by 1440 so that's the size make sure that your project size is correct down here on the bottom 2560 by 1440 perfect all right now we can see that this big section here is if you were to load up your youtube channel page on a tv you'd see that whole section so you got to understand that no matter what you have there it's possible that people will see the entire image at some point also desktop mode you're going to see a wide amount of the content which is kind of like here where we're seeing these pictures and we're also seeing the white and the blue on both sides then you get to a tablet, it gets to be a little smaller, and then desktop and mobile, it's even smaller than that. So you kind of want to be careful about what you put different places. What's awesome is that you're able to make it super easy to find out, oh, what's in the right spot and what's not in the right spot by using the opacity slider. And the opacity slider is super great. So let me first show you what I would do if I am starting to make a banner. So what I would do is I'd hit close. I'd go over here to uh, new so you have the editor open click new and on here there are different presets in presets there's actually a YouTube channel art and that's the YouTube banner right there and it is that 2560 by 1440 so go over here hit OK and now we have a blank canvas nothing's happening on it but we do have the grid line to be able to see kind of what's inside the square and what's awesome is you can take the grid you could turn it off, you can turn it on, you can give it some extra squares in here so you can kind of proportion where things are. But get it so you're able to see the grid, so you know what's in and what's out of the overall image. Make sure your image is correct down here. And then go to insert. And then what I would do is going into insert, actually grab the YouTube um, uh, banner template and just drop that onto your image and what's awesome is there's an opacity side that you're able to turn on and turn off and you're able to move it in layers from the front to the back and things like that so it's going to be super easy next we're going to insert a few more items into this project so i want to insert this image here going to drop that one in oh and there's other images i can put in here as well but let's start with this main front background picture i'm going to stretch it to be the full size of the entire image because I know that the entire image will be viewable to some people. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push the send back button. That send back button will send it behind this first image. I can turn the opacity down so I can still see where things are, but it's also me that I can start adding pieces of the puzzle in without totally ruining things. So the question is, what do you want to put in to this project? Well, that's where really it's up to you what you would like to put in. There's all sorts of things. In what I have currently on my channel, I have 
like five different pictures, which shows like me on for doing photography, something I took a picture of, my wife and I at our wedding, and then us just enjoying a cookie at our apartment. So, um, you know, I think it kind of shares a little bit of just me and tries to share a little bit of personal, honest side of who I am. But we can always update it and see what we can do for the future. So perhaps I want to add a photo of myself in here. And, you know, you can go and browse all your different images that you have in the viewer. And you can really kind of figure out what exactly do I want to put in here. But, you know, it's always hard to know exactly what you want to put in. But kind of scope out what you like. You might go to other people's YouTube channels to see what other people do. We could go to something like Think Media. And you can see how they did theirs. I kind of took some inspiration from theirs on ours. It's just five different images here. Looks pretty nice. And on mobile, it's cropped where you can only see the three images. And that's similar to what happens on mine as well. Uh, nonetheless, if I'm looking at this and saying, what do I want to put in here? I'm probably looking at it and saying, hey, I want to put in some different stuff. Maybe I want to put in a cropped photo of myself into the image here. All right, cool. That would be pretty sweet. So you can drop that in. Then maybe you want to add some text and you want to do something where it's like, uh, learn, duplicate down, grow, duplicate down. And then it's like, uh, let's see, what would it be? Make money. Yeah, there you go. That's that's why you would want to subscribe to my channel. And then, you know, you can go and you can drop this into the right places to drop it into. So let's say you drop it all in and you're super pumped. You're real excited about what you have there. And maybe you add in what you want. If you don't know all the different stuff as far as for text or other things, definitely check out my other videos on PhotoScapex to learn the full process of it. But it's nice to be able to add in different things so you can put just the right thing in the right places. So let's say we're happy with this. It's all perfect the way that we want it. What you would then do is you could either then just move this out of the way or you can just delete it. Um, in this case, there's a few things I probably have done terribly wrong um, like I put the white on that and all these different things but what I can do is I can just go over here select this I can either delete it or I can actually just go over here to the layers tab you can select this to just open the layers tab turn that off then you have it right there and really it just depends on how much time you want to put into it what you want to do but that is how you make a YouTube banner you then just save it out and you send it on its way so Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Really, it's just however much time you want to put into it, what kind of look and feel you want it to end up looking like. But I hope that it helped you out, and I will look forward to seeing what you guys have. Send, put a comment in down below if you made a channel art with this software or with maybe a different software. I'd love to know your thoughts, your ideas for how to make YouTube banners. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.